Aerodynamics plays a crucial role in the performance of any vehicle, especially in motorsports. Even the smallest changes in the shape can lead to significant difference in speed, stability and efficiency. Many supercars are equipped with active aerodynamic systems, allowing them to dynamically change their aero profile to optimize performance on the track. For example, introduced in 2005, the Bugatti Veyron features an advanced active aerodynamic system that automatically adjusts based on speed and driving conditions. Moving on, one of the key active aero features in the Formula 1 is the drag reduction system, also known as DRS. When a driver is less than one second behind another car, they can activate DRS, which opens a slot in the rear wing. This reduces drag, allowing for higher speeds on straights and increasing overtaking opportunities. If you have ever watched karting, you have probably noticed drivers ducking down on the straights to reduce drag and air resistance. But does it actually work? To find out, we'll compare three different simulations, normal driving position, ducking down while still looking at the track, and driver fully dug down. All simulations were made it under same conditions with the karting speed set to 20 meters per second. So let's analyze the data and see how much of difference driver position can make. If you're spinning in every single training session, crashing in the most races or driving on the grass instead of asphalt, don't worry, your problems are about to be solved, since here is Cartletics. A professional karting program designed to help drivers worldwide by enhancing their skills and taking their performance to the next level. On the official Cartletics website, you will find track wides, different karting setups, driver fitness routines, technical blocks about setting the right tire pressure, leaning, or karting aerodynamics, if the amount of knowledge in the video isn't enough for you, and even IE karting assistant. So, if you're serious about karting and want to become a better driver, then Cartletics is definitely for you. Link is in the description. Now, let's focus on our simulation. Here we have 2D velocity visualization. The impact of the driver's position is most noticeable in the middle section. We can see air decelerates significantly in the front area of the helmet, creating high pressure at the front and extremely low pressure on the upper section. Interestingly, due to the driver's position, the wake inside the cart is reduced. Moving forward, we know from basic aerodynamics that sharper edges cause airflow to detach more abruptly leading to larger wakes behind the vehicle. This is why modern cars are designed with smooth shapes to minimize air detachment as much as it possible. In this case, we can clearly see that the air detaches less drastically and at the same time, the wake behind the driver is smaller. These factors contribute significantly to reducing overall drag. When drivers fully dug down, the drag coefficient drops to 0.52, which is a huge improvement compared to 0.57 in the normal driving position. Now, let's talk about lift coefficient. A fully dug down driver experiences negative lift of minus 0.1, which is slightly less than minus 0.30 in normal position. However, staying fully dug down can be difficult, since it limits the visibility on the track. So, higher dynamic is a driver who tags down but still keeps their head up to see the track. Is it still as beneficial as full tag? The answer is both yes and no. Let me explain. At first glance, the airflow looks similar. A small wake inside the cart, deceleration at the front and acceleration above the helmet. However, behind the driver the airflow detaches more rapidly due to the sharp position of the body. When the driver raises the helmet to see the track, it helps separate the airflow, resulting in a larger wake compared to a full tack. Moreover, the wake is still smaller than when the driver remains fully upright. In terms of numbers, a driver in partial tack has a drag coefficient of 0.53. A great result, but slightly less effective than a full tack. The lift coefficient in this position is minus 0.08. This reduction of lift coefficient in both cases is due to less airflow interaction. When the driver sits upright, a larger surface area interacts with the air, increasing both drag and negative lift. However, on straights, high downforce isn't as crucial. That's why many supercars use active area systems that adjust aerodynamic properties based on track condition and driving needs. Active aerodynamic systems play a crucial role in optimizing both performance and efficiency. In karting, adjusting your position can significantly affect aerodynamics. By ducking down, you can gain a huge advantages in reducing drag, compared to sitting upright. However, as we have seen, how you duck down matters. Lifting your head slightly to see the track reduces some of the benefits, but still provides a notable improvement over staying upright. 
So next time you're on this track, try attacking to gain that extra edge and improve your lap times.